everyone, and welcome back to my heavenly baby. Today is Thankful Thursday, and joining us is our beautiful little girl, Willow. And we are so thankful for Willow. She is our adopted biracial little girl, and the last of the PJ babies. The last one to get into an adorable little set of pajamas. And we're going to go ahead and do that. But first, we're going to read our powerful prayers for every need. While you stare at my beautiful little girl. Oh, she's got a cute little bracelet on. I have to make her one yet. I've made some for the babies. And um, I just put this one on her, though. It looks cute. It's got the hearts on it. Oh, she's so pretty. All right. Today, we are on purity. Set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 Dear Lord, you commanded us to love, and you say in your word that it should be love that comes from, pure, from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Cleanse my heart. Instill in me pure motives. Amen. 1 Timothy 1.5 Boy, I sure want that. I want God to help me to have a pure heart um, and be good, uh, have and a, and a good conscience and sincere faith. I want him to cleanse my heart and instill in pure motives. I definitely want to be a, you know, pure for God. I want to be a good friend to people. I want to be kind and loving, you know. So what a great thing to pray for. Lord, I am desperately in need of your help as with the Psalmist, my face is red with weeping. Deep shadows ring my eyes, and yet my hands have been free of violence, and my prayer is pure. Come quickly, Lord, release to me the answer you promised. Lift my head and reward my purity and faith. Amen. Job 16, 6 through 7, 16 through 17. Job is such an amazing book. You need to read it. What he went through having everything taken from him and not turning from God shows pure faith in the Lord. Boy, he loved God no matter what. Everything he had was taken from him. Everything from all of his children to his home, to his farm, animals, everything. And he had sores all over his body. And yet he still didn't turn from God. His own wife said, turn from God, you know, and, and curse him. But he didn't. His friends kept saying, you must have done something wrong. Even though he was a faithful man, loved God. The devil wanted to tempt him. Told God, I bet you if I tempt him, take everything away, he'll turn from you. And God said, you can do whatever you want, but you can't kill him. And he proved that Job would never turn from him. So this is a good one to, to read. You know, a good one to think of um, how it says, I am desperately in need of your help. As with the psalm, if my face is red with weeping, deep sorrows ring my eyes. And then, you know, come quickly, Lord, release me to the an to release to me the answer you promised. You know, asking God, lift my head and reward my purity and faith. So because his faith was so good and everything, God gave him back tenfold. More kids, more animals, a bigger home, everything. I mean, he, this man had everything because his faith didn't leave, didn't leave. Let's not leave our faith. Father, I know that you deserve purity in your children on the outside as well as in the inside. But I find that my efforts to purity myself have failed. Therefore, I ask you to create in me a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Only then will I be worthy of your presence. Amen. Psalms 51.10. I definitely, you know, want God to help me. Like it says, but I find that the efforts to purity, my, to purify myself have failed. I don't want to fail God. So I want to ask for him to create a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I definitely want to pray for that. I just want to, you know, um, you know, the desire for purity in me. I definitely want that. I definitely want that for God. Lord, stay near and help me keep my hands clean and my heart acceptable to you. When I mess up, I receive the gift of your forgiveness to make me pure again. Amen. Boy, man, we are lucky that we serve an almighty, merciful God and that Jesus is died for us. He sent his son to die for us so that we can be forgiven of our sins because every one of us falls short of the glory of God daily. Daily we do. We all live in glass houses and we shouldn't. So that's why we shouldn't throw stones on top of it because we all are sinful people. And that's why God had to send his son to die for us. But we are grateful to God for that. Grateful to the Lord for doing that. And because of that, we can have our salvation and know we have eternal life now, even though we make mistakes and we fall short of God and we disappoint him on a daily basis. 
He forgives us. We ask for forgiveness. He forgives us and forgets and goes on to the next day and it's done. His mercies are new every single day. We are very lucky people. Very lucky. Lucky to have the Bible. Lucky to be able to read the Bible here in the United States. And just lucky that we serve a big, merciful, beautiful God. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day, guys, with your you know life's manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. And boy, I got to get caught up. I'm so far behind in my reading. I got to get caught up for God. I do. He's been real good to me, very good to me. He still loves me, still helps me every day. I know I read these verses, but I want my quality alone time with Jesus. I need that. So I say these verses for myself, and I hope I can save a soul. But definitely, I need this word here because this is the guide to you know, how to live right and how to get to heaven. But this book, reading it, isn't going to get you into heaven. Get you into heaven is by the grace of Jesus dying on the cross and believing that. That's how we get to heaven. What a wonderful gift, huh? He died for us so that we could get to heaven. But let's read his word. Let's get some wisdom, the wisdom that we need. Reading verses like that and get the wisdom we need so that we can make it to heaven, know how to get to heaven, and thanking God and by reading his word and just thanking him every day, spending time thanking him just for waking us, just to giving us another day. What a grateful gift to know that he does it. And then he forgives us for each and everything we do. And there isn't a sin too big for God to forgive. So let's turn our lives around, give our life to God, and get our salvation. Get right with God today so we can make it to heaven. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful verses on... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Where was I? On... Uh... I know I'm coming up to it. What happened? What did I do? I can't believe I can't remember what I was reading on. Purity, purity, purity. Come on, how do you not remember that, Angel? The next one is Reconation. Oh, that's going to be a good one. All right, purity, you guys. I hope you love those verses on purity. Let's have a pure heart for God. Let's do what we can and live our life right. Let's be kind and loving to everyone, too. All right, you guys, let's get on to Beautiful Willow, the last of the PJ babies. Uh, and then we're going on to the uh, onesies, the onesie babies. Uh, I'm going to be doing some cute onesies, some babies with bare feet. And they're going to look so cute in their little onesies. I love onesie babies. But right now we're going to get Willow into a sleeper. And like I said, she's got her beautiful little bracelet on. I'm going to make her a bracelet up for over here with the W on it for her name. This is uh, Willow uh, Star. And I love her beautiful gray eyes. She's so beautiful. I put those eyes in. She did come with brown eyes, but I changed it. Uh, she did come painted, but I did add paint to her. I did all her creases and everything to give her more because they didn't have the creases. They didn't have her nail beds done. I did her nail beds. I did her toes. I did her lips different. They had her, her lips a very bad color. It wasn't that great. I got this one from uh, AliExpress. Uh, the cheeks are beautiful, and I do believe that she is a copy baby. You guys, another one of my copy babies. This I did not know was a copy. I didn't know any of my babies were copy, but I certainly did not know this was a copy. So this one is a copy baby. I will throw up there which copy she is again. Um, but yes, so sad. I hate that I got these babies that are copy, but I love this one so much. So grateful for her. Um, I'm grateful for my, my babies, no matter what, even if they're copies or not, because everything in life is copied. I wish they wouldn't do it, but they do. I don't plan to get any more copy babies, but if I do, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but I'm just letting you guys know that this one is a copy baby. But I love her so much. She's so beautiful, isn't she? Mwah. I got to just give those lips a kiss. You're so pretty, little girl. So here's what we're putting on Willow tonight. We have got this beautiful dog sleeper. It is a burgundy color, and it's got peach dogs. It's got Dalmatian dogs that are black and white. It's got orange dogs. It's got um, or, like a, a kind of a, a more of a peach and white dog. And they're all different types of dog. It's got a poodle, a white poodle. So this looks like a terrier or a Yorkie. I'm not sure what this is. This is a Dalmatian. Not sure what this is either. We got the poodle. Um, this might be a, a, oh my gosh, I had it at the tip of my tongue. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it is. But yeah, it's just got some great dogs on it. I just can't think of all the the dogs that are on it. But it's all filled with colored dogs and done in peaches, whites, and um, black and white. So really, really cute. We're going to put this on her. I'm sure you guys know and are yelling out all the names of these dogs on here. I just don't know them all. But we're putting this on her. And it's got the feet in it, of course, because it's a sleeper. 
And we're going to give her this beautiful, because she's a baldy right now, I am going to give her hair. But for now, right now, she's bald. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to give her bows. But we're going to do this one right here. It's um, a cream color one to go with the, the creams in here. There's some beautiful creams in there. And it's got gold on it, and it's done on that beautiful um, nylon, which I love. I love these headbands. A lot of people do. So we're going to put that on her, and we're going to have the cream nook for her. Beautiful nook. She loves her nooks. Right now, she's without it, though, because she's mesmerized by that light. And we're going to do one of the honest diapers on her. It's got the animals on it. And this is a newborn size. She wears newborn. Newborn to preemie. So we're going to go ahead and get her dressed. But yeah, I'll get up close to the camera if you're new to my channel. And I'll show you her art. If you see her on... I got it from AliExpress. If you see her on AliExpress, you'll see what they did. And then you'll get to see what I did, what I added to her. Let's turn her to the side. Turn her to the side, little girl. Yeah, so mommy can undo this button. I hate this button. This button's a terrible button. Yes, it is. A terrible button. You almost need your mouth to, to fix it, to get it off. And mommy don't have any fingernails right now, so this is really hard to do. Yeah, I think we need a wrestler here to help us with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to have to, hang on. I'm going to have to use my teeth. Because I don't have any fingernails right now. Come on. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Okay. I will get this, you guys. I will get this. I don't know why. It's so hard to get this off. There we go. Got it. Got it, Willow. Sorry, baby girl. Here, we'll take your uh, headband off because that's getting in the way. We'll take your little bracelet off for a second while we get off your clothes. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I did pierce her ears too. She's got beautiful little uh, gray studs in, like a silver stud, uh, diamond-like, but it's done in like that gray to match her gray eyes. So let's get this little dress off. Love this dress on her. She looked so cute in this dress. The green looked really cute on her. Love this. I believe this was a TJ Maxx purchase. Uh, but yeah, love it. It had the little bloomers with it. All right, so I'm going to get up close and show you. Look at how beautiful she is, you guys. Let me show you. So we'll start with her face. There's her face and the blushing I added. She didn't have much blushing. I blushed up her nose. I did her lips better. And then I added some of the uh, veining on her. Added the veining. And I did the ears a little bit more. There's her beautiful little earrings done in that gray. And then, of course, like I said, her lips. I did the shininess under her eyes, on her mouth, and down the nose, and in the nose. And then as you go up, I did her nipples. She didn't even have nipples, you guys. I made those nipples. She didn't even have any. It was so weird. She had no nipples. So I did that and did the dark coloration with her being a bi-ratio. And then, of course, my fingernails cracked there. Um, did this, uh, you know, in, the, in her um, little folds and stuff like that, I did the darker tone. And then as you go up, I did it in her arms like that. Her belly button, look at that belly button, you guys. Beautiful. Her belly button before did not look like this. It is gorgeous. And then I shined it up. And then I did the nail beds. Look at her beautiful nails now. So pretty. She's got tiny little nails, but the beds turned out great. And then her hand, I'd added some coloration in there. All that dark coloration. And then over here, same thing. Here's this hand. She's open hand on both hands. There's that. And then, of course, whoops. The other side of her hand, see the coloration, how I did that? Oh, God, so beautiful. And then as I go up, that was just a little piece of dirt there, you guys. As I go up, then you see the knees. I added more blushing in there. I added more veining. There's her toes, the bottom of her foot. I also did the coloration in there, the toes there. And let's see, I think her toes are all together, but yeah, they're all together. The toes are all together there. See the dark coloration I did in there? And then over here, same thing. They're all together. But look at that. I did all of that art. Did the knees and stuff like that. We'll turn her around. She's got a spine. I added all the coloration in there. She had none of this done. None of this was done. Add all that. Added the blushing to the back of the knees there. The back of, or the back of the arms. The back of the legs. Added the pink in there. You see the blushing like that. And I did all of that um, on her side and everything. You see a little bit shine there. So I got to go over that. Some of them um, you do. You get that little bit of shine at the end and you realize you got to go back over the baby like just in a couple little spots. So I will fix it. That's the only spot on her that was shiny was just her little side there. But look at those eyes. Ah, 
to die for. And then she already had the eyebrows that came, you know, on her. And I'm going to give her uh, hair for sure. I'm going to root hair. But isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I love her. I just wanted to show her up close. Sorry. When I get up close, I know it gets louder. I got the earbuds in. But anyways, isn't she beautiful in that belly button? Look at that. That I did the coloration there. Sorry if I went down too low. The coloration I did in there on her stomach, adding in some more color to her. Yeah, just gorgeous, you guys. Just gorgeous. She is atomically correct because she's a full body silicone and she's got little girl parts. So we're going to change her diaper, but we're going to make sure to cover that. Yeah, we're going to make sure not to show that. We don't want to show that to anybody. No, no, no. Keep those legs closed, little girl. <laughs> like Daddy would say, you keep those legs closed. Always and forever. <laughs> okay, and we're going to have to go down on this. Um, last diaper did I do on her a preemie? No, I did do a newborn. It is a newborn diaper. This one is. But I like that it had the little thing, but I have to roll this one down. This actually had the little cutout for the belly button, but she's pretty tiny. So we're just going to roll this one down. Okay, and put on her diaper. I could have put a preemie on her, but I wanted one of these honest diapers on her. And I don't always, I know when I come on, you guys see me change the babies, but that's like, you won't see her now for, till I go through 20 some babies again, yeah. you know? I mean, I don't know when you'll see her come on in the lineup, um, but I try, I probably will just go back and start all over from the beginning when I started the PJ babies, and that's probably how I'll start doing it. So yeah, it'll be uh, 20, uh, 22 babies, well, 21 babies till I get to her because she's number 22, but I'm getting some new babies too. Um, and I'll probably have, well, I'll have at least one of them added in that when I start doing the onesie babies. But yeah, that's, you know, I don't change their diapers all the way till it's time for a change. And sometimes I forget to even do it. So yeah, they don't always get a new diaper. Don't worry. I don't waste diapers and stuff like that. I just, they stay in the outfit and the uh, diaper till I change them again. So until they, I bring them on the camera to change them. So I don't change them a lot. I recommend for silicones not to change them a lot because the more you do, you know, the more that you're going to wear on the baby. But I do seal them with silicone velvet and Fuse FX. And I was told by the company that um, their paints, they said, become the baby. And I've noticed the babies that I have fully painted. This one I just gave art to and added a little bit of coloration to her skin. Um, but I used the sealant. Uh, from Fuse FX, but they said it becomes the baby and all the ones that I've done, even full painted, I have not lost the paint, you guys. Um, and I got babies that are almost two years old that I painted and they're still as beautiful as can be. And I bathe them, I change them, I do everything, you know, just not tons of times, but I'm just saying I do. And I haven't had any peeling at all. So when you buy a baby from me, I can pretty much guarantee, unless you are like so rough with that baby, constantly, constantly changing everything. I still don't think you'll lose any of the paint, but I would say that I can guarantee as long as you're not doing too much stuff, you ain't going to have any problems because I use Fuse FX. So, and the powder, you won't even really need to powder the babies even after a bath because I use that silicone velvet, which is an amazing sealant. So check out the babies I got for sale. I definitely have a couple cute babies for sale and one of them I'm practically giving away. 75 bucks, that's it, because that one was a copy baby and I don't want to sell any copy babies um, you know, anymore. Just that one. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of that one. Basically, I'm going to make nothing off of that one. I made, paid 125 for it. I'm asking 75 bucks and it comes with stuff. So 75 bucks and it's yours. So definitely check that, that little one out. He's a preemie baby. Adorable. Oh my goodness. Look at this big flower in your hair. That looks cute. That looks cute. Beautiful girl. Yes, it does. And then the other one I have is a full size, um, Silicone, 8.5 pounds, and she's 19 inches long. Uh, beautiful, beautiful baby girl. She is the copy of my Toby baby and my uh, Heavenly baby. Let's put your bracelet back on, honey. Now, you can do this bracelet on the hand if they have a smaller hand, or you can, it's a snake-type bracelet, so you can also just wrap it around the hand to get it on. You know, just wrap it around like that, but hers just slides on because she don't have a very big wrist. So it just slides right on, but look at her. Ah, oh, she's beautiful. Let's get the nook in because I know she wants her nook. She started off without it, but I want you guys to see the nookie in her mouth. I did have to open her mouth. No, I didn't. Did I have to open it? Yeah, I had to open it a little bit. She, it was semi-open, I believe, when I got it. It was just a little bit open, so she couldn't take full passies at first, but now she can because I opened it more, and now we can get full passies in here. Yes, we can get full passies in her mouth. Just got to straighten this one out. 
because it went in crooked. Why is your thing going in crooked, honey? Why is this passy going in crooked? What's wrong? What is wrong? Oh, it, it bent. That's what's wrong. The pacifier bent. There we go. There we go. Ah, it's so pretty. So pretty, Willow. Yes, you are beautiful, girl. So pretty. Yes, I love you. Mwah. All right, you guys. Well... I hope you enjoyed all of the PJ babies, getting to see each and every one of my babies get into a set of pajamas and, you know, a nice cute sleeper that's perfect for the springtime. That's what they were, were kind of more springtime sleepers. So I hope you enjoyed that. Each and every baby getting so cute. Babies are so cute in sleepers. And now we're going on to onesies. I mean, you can't get cuter than sleepers and onesies, right? That's the best. So now we'll be doing that. So we will get back to Willow again, but Willow wants to blow you guys a kiss and I should have done it before. Ugh forgetting when they have that mm -hmm. she wants to give you guys a kiss and say she loves god mommy daddy auntie uncle grandmas and grandpas she loves everybody very much and you guys remember to have that pure heart i hope it was on purity again uh, make sure to have that pure heart for god and um just recognize that in your life and get close to him i hope you guys enjoyed like i said i hope you enjoyed the sleeper babies or pj babies Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.